In this video, we want to take the integral of the square root of x minus 1 over x to the fifth power. Let's break out the x to the fifth, bring it outside the square root. So we have x to the 5 over second power. Now let's let u equal the square root of x. du is 1 over 2 times the square root of x dx. So inside here we have x. x is u squared since u is equal to the square root of x. Now x to the 5 halves power is basically the square root of x raised to the fifth power which is u to the fifth. Now with du I solve for dx here and I get that dx is equal to 2 times the square root of x du which the square root of x is just u so that's just 2u du and that's what we have over here. Now I bring the 2 outside u over u to the fifth is just u to the fourth. We're going to make a trick substitution next. We'll let u equal secant theta. So du is secant theta times tangent theta d theta. So we have secant squared minus 1 over secant to the fourth power. And then we're going to multiply that by secant times tangent times d theta. Now the secant and the secant to the fourth, we'll just have secant cubed in the denominator. And we know that 1 plus tangent squared is equal to secant squared. So that means that secant squared minus 1 is equal to tangent squared. So we replace the square root, the inside the square root with tangent squared. The square root of tangent squared is tangent. Multiply that by tangent outside. That gives us tangent squared. That's going to be all over secant cubed. And now we can break this up in terms of sines and cosines. We have sine squared over cosine squared. And that's all over 1 over cosine cubed. Basically what we do here is multiply sine squared with cosine cubed, put that in the numerator, and then cosine squared times 1 in the denominator. So that gives us sine squared times cosine cubed over cosine squared. Now the cosines are going to cancel. We have just sine squared times cosine left. For that you make a, a a z substitution. Since we already used u prior, we'll use a different variable call it z. z is sine theta, so that means dz is cosine theta d theta. Now sine squared becomes z squared, and then uh, cosine theta d theta is just dz, so this is a typo. Find the antiderivative of that. We have 2 times z cubed over 3 plus c. Now we just have to replace what z was. z was sine. So we have 2 thirds sine cubed. And recall that u was equal to secant theta. So if we solve for theta, we have to undo the secant, which means theta is equal to the inverse secant of u. And so that gets plugged in for theta, so take this whole thing, put it in for theta over here. So we have 2 thirds secant cubed of inverse secant of u plus c. And yeah, so this one we should draw a right triangle. So the angle here, we'll call it theta. So Recall we said u was equal to secant theta. So this is theta. So secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. So think of this as u over 1. So it's hypotenuse over adjacent. Pythagorean theorem says this is the square root of u squared minus 1. So when I'm looking at sine of theta now, that's just opposite over uh, hypotenuse. So this thing is theta. So now you take sine theta. That's square root u squared minus 1 over u. And so that's what's in here. So you cube it, but uh, 
But first, actually, we, we did make a substitution where u was equal to the square root of x. So I plug that in here for u. The square root of x squared becomes x. And so we have the square root of x minus 1 over the square root of x. And here you can just factor out the, uh, the square root. So we're left with 2 thirds times x minus 1 over x raised to 3 halves power plus c. That is our final answer.